Hello friends, welcome to my video. Today I am going to talk about an interesting topic which is default interface method that was introduced in C sub 8.0. We'll see how to use it in a program until C sub 8.0. We know that interface can't have concrete implementation of method, but with C sub 8.0, it's possible now. So we need to upgrade our fundamental concept about the interface. And that's what we are going to learn in this video. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon. That way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. Default interface method in CSAP 8.0 and later version. Default interface method, which is also known as DIM, are nothing but methods in interfaces with concrete implementation. These features were introduced in CSAP 8.0 and it is available in the higher version. Before C sub 8, it was not possible to add new members to an interface without breaking the classes that implement that interface. Because interface members were abstract, classes needed to provide an implementation. But now, with C sub 8 and later version, we are able to do so. Okay, let's understand it with the help of example. There is an interface called I account. It has two method signature without body part in a conventional way. These methods are deposit and withdraw that accept decimal parameter named amount and return type is void. In this interface, I have introduced two default interface method. One is close account, that is parameterless default interface method. Another one is the nomination method, which is also known as parameterized method over here that accepts a string parameter named nominee. So with C sub 8 onwards, interface can have default interface methods that was not possible in earlier version. Okay, let's see complete implementation of default interface method at Visual Studio in action. Okay, so here we are on Visual Studio. I have created one console application, default interface method demo, and it has one class program.cs. In program.cs, we have an interface i account that we discussed earlier. So it has two method deposit and withdraw where we don't have any implementation and we have introduced two default interface method, close account and nomination. Close account is the default interface method without parameter and we are just printing account got closed into this console window. In nomination, we are accepting nominee as a string data type and then we are printing nominee as a nominee added to the account from the DIM. Here DIM understand for the default interface method. Okay. So now in class A, I am implementing I account interface. So this deposit and withdraw in interface, we don't have any implementation. So whenever we are going to implement I account interface, we will have to give the implementation for. It. So that's what I have given the implementation here for the deposit method. I'm just going to print this statement amount, whatever the amount that we are going to receive under this deposit method as an input parameter. We are just printing amount, the amount I in our deposit. Similarly, in withdraw, whatever the amount as a parameter we are going to receive we are just printing amount amount inr withdrawal okay and now in main method of this class a only what i am going to do over here is i have just printed this demo of default interface method in c sharp 8.0 onwards into this console window because i am just giving the demo of the default interface right okay so here i have created an instance of class a and then assigned to the i account interface and then with the help of obj i account i am calling deposit withdraw and nomination deposit i am just passing 200 as a parameter in withdraw 50 and in nomination i am just giving the name which is nothing but the nominee okay if you notice i don't have given any implementation over here for this nomination method because we have already given this implementation into the interface itself and we are able to successfully use this nomination method in the class a Okay, let me execute this and see the output. Okay, so output got appeared into this console window. Demo of default interface method in CSAP 8.0 onwards. That is the heading got printed. And then amount 200 INR deposit, amount 50 INR withdrawn. And Ravi as a nominee added to the account from DIM. So whatever the method that we called from the class A got called successfully, message got printed into this console window. Okay, let me close this. Now, I just wanted to uh, give uh, our own nomination method implementation in the class A. So, we can do that. So, for here, I just go and, you know, write it something like this. Public void nomination string nominee. And then I have just written from class A. 
because we are just writing this nomination method in class A and I am just going to print these things into this console window and that's what I have just written nominee as a nominee added to the account from class A. So previously, we do have this nomination method here, right? It will be here only, but I just want to override those things into this class A where we are implementing this I account. We have given our own implementation over here, right? And the same way we are calling this. Okay, let me uh, execute this and see the output. Okay, so output got appeared into this console window. And if you see the output over here, Ravi as a nominee added to the account from class A. So this message got printed from the method that we have written in class A, and it is basically overwrite the default interface method. If you notice this close account method, I have not given any implementation of the close account method in class nor used it. So, as the default nature of interface is not forcing us to provide implementation because we have already given the implementation of close account method in interface itself. So, that's the flexibility enable us to add new method in existence interface without breaking the classes that implemented that interface. So in this case, that is the happening. So, that's the benefit that we are going to get it whenever we are going to use default interface. Benefits and limitation of default interface method. Whenever we are going to use default interface method, we need to keep in mind what are the benefits we are going to get it and what are those limitations. So number one benefit is default interface methods enable the addition of a new default method to an existing interface without breaking the classes that implement that interface. It was not possible up to CSAF 7.0. Second benefit is it enables CSAF to interpret with APIs targeting Android and iOS which supports similar feature. It was not possible earlier. Number three benefit is interface implementing concrete classes can choose which default method to override and can use interface default implementation itself. Okay. Apart from benefits, we do have some limitation also. The first number one implementation is interfaces may not contain instance states or fields. Number two limitation is instance auto properties are not supported in interface as they would implicitly declare a hidden field. Now that brings me to end of my session. To sum up, in this video, we saw what default interface methods are and how we can use them in a program. We also discussed about its benefit and limitation. That's all for this video, guys. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. Thanks for watching. See you next video.